So Emma, this surge that the UK has seen in Omicron cases, what's been the response so far? Well, they've raised their COVID alert level by a notch. As you said, cases have quite quickly escalated. More than 1,200 new infections on Sunday, up from some 600 the day before. Boris Johnson addressed the nation in quite a short speech, but he said that they are facing an Omicron tidal wave. Uh, and brought forward by a month uh, a deadline for the booster program there. So everyone uh, eligible over the age of 18 in England should be able to have gotten a third dose by the new year. That's the, the new target there. Uh, but obviously, uh, trying to get in front of this one, uh, Boris Johnson, and put in place uh, a sort of structure whereby he appears to be, you know, responding to this and, and trying to mitigate the surge that we're so obviously seeing, but also very mindful of the fact uh, that, that families want to be celebrating Christmas together after curbs last year. Well, let's move on to China, Emma. It still hasn't approved the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, even though it's in use around much of the world now. Your team has a story today on how that's affecting one of the country's conglomerates. Yeah, I mean, it's a fascinating story, really. Fosun uh, Pharmaceutical, the uh, drug-making arm of, of one of China's uh, conglomerates, uh, Fosun there, um, had that quite prescient uh, deal uh, very early on in the pandemic um, where they got the distribution rights for the Pfizer-BioNTech mRNA uh, COVID vaccine, which at that point, you know, hadn't even been uh, really developed. Uh, they got the distribution rights for Greater China. Now, uh, they have been rolling out the shots, obviously, in Hong Kong. Uh, some have been getting into Taiwan, uh, Macau as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, over a year uh, into the dissemination of vaccines, China has not approved or, or authorised uh, this vaccine um, or any uh, foreign vaccines for use in the mainland, um, which has sort of noited uh, what seems a very prescient bet uh, by Fosun Pharma there.